What's going on, folks? It's Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. Today I have an actual official release to talk to you all about. It is Batman Black and White, the Omnibus. Um, I was very excited about this. You know, I'm, I'm very picky with my books nowadays, and I love me some Batman Black and White. For those of you that don't know what this was all about, um, this is a book that compiles um, basically a whole bunch of artists uh, and writers who wrote these little black man, Batman black and white, <laughs> black man, Batman black and white stories. Um, you know, this wasn't some ongoing storyline or anything. It was just people writing their own little Batman story. Um, it's very exciting. Nice crisp cover here. Um, I'm really disappointed in myself that I'm drawing a blank on the artist, but I'm sure we'll see inside who it is. Let's take a look at the inner flap here. Got a little Eisner Award winner um, list there. Let's take a look at this spine. Nice. I like it. Big, bold, black and white. I'm a fan. And on the back, what have we got? There's good, there's evil, there's Batman black and white. And here you've got basically all the artists that did storylines, right? An incredible, incredible list of talent. I mean, Frank Miller, Eduardo Riso, Walter Simonson, Dustin Nguyen, Paul Pope, Mike Mignola, Jim Lee, Alan Davis, Mobius, Matt Wagner, Brian Boland. I mean, come on, Michael Cho, Mike Alred. I mean, it's an insane list of creators, which is why I was super excited about it. Let's take a look at the back flap here. Nice Batman right there. Real nice. Let's take the dust jacket off, guys, and see what we got going on in here. All right. I love it. Spine is the same. Let's take a look at the back. Awesome. It's tough for me to tell who's who's doing these just based on these like close-ups, but let's get into this bad boy. Man, am I excited. Little front little intro page, front page there. Woo! Jim Lee did the collection cover. Sweet. That's what I thought, but I wasn't hundred percent sure. We got the little Mike Mignola Batman there. Table of contents. Let me get in a little closer for you guys here. So you can see you got some Bruce Tim in there, Joe Kubert. Of course, you have uh, writers that were writing these. Sometimes the artist would write the story as well, but not every time. Bear with me here, folks. All right, let me just put this down here. Let it focus. All right, so you can pause that, take a look. But, man, is it a crazy list. And like I said, these are pretty short stories. You know, you're looking at eight to nine pages on average. Um, which is fine because, again, you get a whole bunch of talent working on it. You get awesome little Batmans all over the place. Keeps going because, again, you know, you got hundreds of pages here and they're all different stories. Um, wow, I'm I'm so excited. I don't remember the last time I was this excited about an omnibus. Um, but keep pa you, you, can, you can pause it. I'm going to keep flipping. Um, take a look. Got an intro here. Let's see who that's by. Mark Chiarello. Um, and then it just dives in right into the story. Um, the first story, which I, you know, I haven't read all these. You got the Bruce Tim one here. I did just want to see if there's an intro before every story or if it just, okay. So it just jumps from one to the next, uh, without really any, uh, sort of change. You do see end here at the bottom. So I guess that will let you know that you finished one. Obviously the artist change will also be an indication. Um, We'll just flip through some of the art here. You guys can tell. Obviously, it is all in black and white, like I mentioned. Oh, this is great. I'm so happy and excited. Wow. Um, I haven't read all of these. I've read a good chunk of them, and um, they're, they're all pretty enjoyable. Again, they're quick. They, they will vary in quality, um, but man, am I excited. I loved it, all these different art styles, and you got the Brian Boland story here, so if you picked up the killer, Killing Joke, uh, this is the backup story from it, um, talking about the guy who killed Batman. Um, let's keep flipping through. This is great. A lot of variety, a lot of style, um, varying, you know, stories. Some of them get real crazy. I remember one of them, um, I believe it was, was it the Kelly, no, not the the Sam Keith one, uh, it's sort of about... How you know Batman and Joker go to go to work every day, and their job is um, you, know, you got the Frank Miller one here. Anyway, they the, they go to their job, and they're they're basically you know working at on set, right? As Batman and Joker fighting each other, and 
and doing what they have to do is really interesting, really, really a fun take um, on Batman and Joker. Oh, this is excellent. I believe this is Gene Colan right here. Panel layout. That's very Gene Colan y to me. I wouldn't be, I'm pretty sure that's Gene Colan. Oh, this is awesome. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited I forgot to break the binding in. But let's take a look here. We're about halfway through. Let's take a look at the binding. So that's it there. Um, let's actually do a little experiment and see how, how many pages in it stays open. Nope, not there. Not there. Let's see about 100. Still trying to close on me. 150, still trying to close. Again, I didn't break the binding in, so this is a uh, pretty about, about page 200. It'll stay open on its own again. You could probably push the binding a little more, work it in a bit more. Oh my god, I'm gonna power through this thing. I am so excited. Um, yeah, so I'll just keep flipping through some artwork here. Gasworks, it's a Mike Mignola one, with Troy Nixie on art. Some Michael Cho here. This is great. All right, now let's let's flip to the back here. I guess we'll show us a few more. This Lieber Mejo, I believe this is. <sighs> wow. Um, so let's flip to the back here, see if we got any bonus content. Um, we got the statues, inspired by the stories, of course. I love these statues, they're excellent. Simon Bisley. I think that's what I was thinking about. The Simon Bisley story. Not the Sam Keith one. My bad. Um, if you guys have any of those statues, let me know which ones you have. I think I have I have the Raphael Grandpa one. Um, I have the Joker by Frank Miller. Um, the one in the nice suit. Uh, we got some, some covers here. There's the Sean Murphy one, which is fantastic. There's some Jim Lee artwork, Mike Mignola again. Mike Mignola black and white statue is one of the nicest. They are releasing the mini statue in color soon. Uh, it's a statue that basically it looks like, um, it looks, if you take a picture of it from any angle, it looks like a drawing. So you even got a table of contents for the gallery here. This is so awesome. I made the right choice in my opinion. Um, fantastic. Again, some more covers, Alex Ross. Um, you get some layouts by Bruce Tim. Reproduction drawings, pinup sketches, more layouts. Uh, this is fantastic, guys. I'm so happy. Um, it looks like, you know, there's not too much gutter loss. I guess it will depend on the storyline as well, depending who the artist is. They may get into the gutters a bit more. They may not flip through some of the some more of the artwork here. Um, let me know what you guys think if you're planning on picking this up. Um, I'm super, super excited and very glad that I did pick this up. Um, Looks like it's going to be a fantastic time. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This was Mike from the Hardcover Comic. As always, much love. Let me know what you guys thought if you're going to pick this up. Um, I'm, I'm again, for, I'm a broken record, but I am ridiculously excited. I got this off Amazon. Um, I believe, let's take a look at the pricing here. So it retails at 125 US, 165 Canadian, if that ever focuses. Um, so, you know, you can get it for about 60 bucks now. Um, check it out. It's uh, it's awesome. It's an anthology-style series. Um, I'm, I'm babbling at this point. Thank you, guys. Follow us on Instagram at the Hardcover Comic, all one word. Be sure to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. Let us know what your thoughts are and how we can do things to make it better for you as a viewer. And uh, be sure to tune in to our next live stream. It should be sometime um next week and we'll we'll be sure to post something in advance thank you guys again this is mike from the hardcover comic as always you stay classy internet